Merry Christmas. This is Brian with Blastbeat ATX, aka Blastbeat Industries, for my Christmas shirt today. <laughs> I'm wearing Sworn Enemy from Queens, New York. Like, I guess you call it the New York hardcore, metalcore. I love that. These guys are heavy, heavier than Oprah, real heavy. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today is the Blastbeat ATX guide. To complete sets, not guide, the Blastbeat ATX method of storing complete sets. How about that? And what set are we going to do today? We're going to focus on one of my favorites, the Donruss 2017 football set. I like this set. We're going to open this in a moment and show you. I just like the design of it, but this was the first set I put together after really heavily diving back into sports cards. Uh, quick aside, like, I, I'm a veteran. I did not think the Colin Kaepernick taking a knee thing was funny. I had written off football. I was one of those, like, if this is what this crap's going to be, then I don't want any part of it. Then a gentleman named Patrick Mahomes got drafted. And I, I, I'm, a, I'm a believer in the new school NFL of him, Lamar Jackson, Deshaun Watson. There's a whole new crop of players that – Hey, they can believe what they want to believe. Keep it off the field. You know, don't don't bring that crap into the games. And they don't. They remember they're professional athletes and what they're supposed to do. And their job is to be entertaining with their athletic ability. And who? So this is the set with the rookie card of those proper new players. And we're going to get to those in a moment. But and, if Kaepernick was one that drove me away, Patrick Mahomes brought me back, and I, I'm a believer now. Because for everything you don't like about whatever, there's 10 things you do, you know? So it was a real reality check for me. So even before 2017, this is the way I've done it since I was a kid. And I want to specifically show you how I store and display these complete sets. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of you out here that just use the storage boxes, and that's fine. As a matter of fact, let's tilt down, and we're going to look at that stuff. All right, let's go to about here. So this here, see, 2017 Donruss. This is the base cards. I need to get a bigger box because it doesn't quite hold all of them completely without, you know, damaging the card. So I got to leave the last 10 on top. See, this is two, what, <laughs> 281. 290, there's Tony Romo, and then 291 to 300, so there's 300 base cards of the veteran players, I got the, the, the final 20, 280 to 300 on top, and the rest of them are in here, all in order, nicely neat and stored away, so... There's 400 cards in the set, if you notice. There's 300 of the veteran players and 100 of the rookies. These were the draft picks in 2017. So, I'm going to set this. Actually, I'm probably going to put this back here so we can avoid the glare right there. All right. So, cut up one of the boxes and just made a little thing. This is extra if you're one of the OCD types. See, I like putting those here. So I can put them on the shelf and immediately know what's in there instead of having to pull it off and look at it. Let's assume you pull this off the shelf. We're laying it out in front of us here. As soon as we open it up, I use a cover page. Hey, these guys don't play in the NFL. No, they don't. It's a cover page of just some extra cards I like. This guy was one of the Astros draft picks. He never made it to the majors. We got the regular Bowman rookie, the Bowman Chrome rookie, and the Bowman Chrome refractor rookie. See these down here? Biggio, Berkman, Bagwell. That's your killer bees from H-Town right there. Man, I wish. He only got five Hall of Fame votes. You know that? It, what an underrated player. Maybe he'll get in on the Veterans Committee one day. These two are in the Hall of Fame. And then these are a couple extra cards. How do we describe this? There wasn't a Donruss set in 99 and 2000. So there was one in 98, and then they started again in 2001. And so the 99 and 2000 Donruss cards were inserts in that 2001 set to make up for the missing one. So here's a few extra ones. Albert Bell, Ken Caminetti, and Wade Boggs. Now the reason I have the cover page in here is for the cover of the binder 
in the rings right here. You want some protection, not ruining like that first card in the set in the top page. You want to avoid the, the little binder marks as much as possible, and this is a really good way to do it. That top page will absorb a lot of the impact of just being handled. We're going to get that here. So we're going to flip the page, and we're going to start with card number one, JJ Watt. Now, if you'll look, we got a red border, a couple of blue borders, and the white borders. The base cards are the white bordered ones. These are just the regular, you had what, 10 of them in a pack. The press proofs are parallels, par different parallel sets. And I forget, I think red was hobby and blue was retail, something along those lines. Bronze was like, two or three of them per box and then silver and gold are serial numbered i don't have any of the serial numbered ones in here but i've got about half a set in these press proofs and so that's why those are in here as opposed to the regular base cards are in the box right but see on the back here i i used to do it as a kid of putting the cards back to back and it you risk damaging the cards, and it, I think as I've gotten older, it makes for a poor presentation. You, you bought the whole card, you want to read the back of it, right? So, we got with J.J. Watts, a player of interest here, Dan Fouts, the red bordered Muhammad Sanu. Flip them over, bam, you can see J.J. Watt right there. Now, the way these are in here is each card is in a penny sleeve. And I know I probably mentioned the sleeve, the soft sleeves, every video I make, that's because I'm a big, huge believer in condition. Look, that thing is what they call pack fresh. That looks like it just rolled off the printer. So you put the card in the sleeve and then put the entire sleeve in the page. And everything fits snug, but doesn't fit tight. And you don't have two cards rubbing against each other. All right. So why does that matter here? Because uh, eh, nothing on this page is probably super expensive. This is the dollar fifty is probably the most expensive one. But we want the whole set to be nice, and you want the presentation to be there. I like the way the back of the cards match the team uniforms. Yeah, we're gonna flip through here for a moment. There's Michael Thomas. He said a uh, reception record this year. See, these are one of the bronze ones. Rob Gronkowski, future Hall of Famer. Ron Gronkowski. Maybe. We'll see. I really think that's a slick card. In another box somewhere, I've got the blue border Cam Newton, and that one is really good because that kind of matches the uniform. Pick up speed along here. Yeah, red border Honey Badger. Yeah, we got a moment here. See, now that's a slick one. The blue bordered Aaron Donald, where it matches the Rams uniforms. I, I really like the stuff like that. See, it doesn't quite match. It looks nice, but it doesn't match like the other ones do. Take a sick one. I don't think it's in this binder. I think it's somewhere else. The red bordered Andre Hopkins with the battle red Texans uniform. That, that card is awesome. Hey, Troy Aikman. <laughs> Another bronze one, Marquise Goodwin. Oh, two bronze ones, excuse me. Willie Rowe for the Saints. 101. I see when you have them displayed like this, it's kind of like reading a book. Here is, you know, if, it, if the set came out in 2017, it's set for 2016, and that's all sports. The back of the card is the year before, right? So this is a really good snapshot of the 2016 season. Ooh, blue border Jameis Winston. You know, kind of looking down. If I say, <laughs> do we think he's going to come back? Andrew Luck, I have a hard time believing he's done. Hey, then again, Barry Bonds are Barry Bonds. Barry Sanders walked away from this thing. A couple of red borders right there. Now, I'm... This is why we're on the internet and we look this up. You'll see some of the rookie cards here. That's a little rookie card symbol, but it's not in the rookie short prints. I think these are guys who are like on the practice squad or played in Canada or something, and they finally made it in the NFL. They weren't the draft picks that year. Ooh, Tyreek Hill. Wink. 
And see, we can do this and flip through them, and every card is perfectly safe. Yeah, Brian Cushing, there's a Houston favorite. I think he's a strength coach now. He has some kind of job with the team. All right, 226. Odell Beckham. That's a slick one. Odell Beckham Jr. That passed Tom Brady. I think it passed Tom Brady. No, wherever he is. Maybe I didn't yet. But this isn't the regular base set. Like I said, about half of this is the parallels and the short prints. Will I complete it? I don't know. Maybe. I've got the whole set here, but it's mixed press proofs and base cards. Oh, I, there it is. Ah, it is in the binder. That is disgusting looking. It's disgusting in the best possible way. I love that red corner with the other Hopkins. <laughs> Tom Savage. <laughs> Tony Romo. Okay, so let's flip back here. I passed it somewhere in here. I wanted to show y'all Tom Brady, but it's not. We got other mid stuff to look for. So, we're going to flip the page. We're, there's card 300. So, that's the end of the regular uh, veteran players. And we get to the rated rookies. Now, a lot of these are the press proofs, too. That's the red border, that's the blue border. Josh Reynolds, there is a stud from the Rams. He had a catch in the Super Bowl. Kind of like Kyle Tucker with the Astros. No matter what he does in the rest of his life, he had a reception in the Super Bowl. Marlon Mack's one of the rising stars of the NFL. Deshaun Kaiser's been a backup for three different teams. Yeah. Yeah. Zay Jones is having a nice career. So is Marlon Mack. So is David Njanku. There's the, there's the bronze press proofs. It's not the entire border. It's just that part where in the regular cards where it's white, that's what gets filled in. Mike Williams, he's a very good receiver. Leonard Fournette. Oh, the red border Christian McCaffrey. Watch out for him in the future. We passed Mitch Trubisky? I don't think so. Okay. That right here. Let's pull that one out. This is the attraction of the whole set. Here, where everything else in here, all these other rookie cards are maybe three, four dollars. Patrick Mahomes rated rookie. That is going to set you back at least 20 bucks. This, of the new school, new generation stuff, this is probably my favorite card. Like I said earlier in the video, I got a lot of emotions tied up in here. No, I have. Several of these, and none of them are for sale. Because I think, unless something really crazy happens, we're talking a unanimous selection for the Hall of Fame. Unlike Mitch Trubisky, who will not be. He may turn out to have a fine career, but phew, he ain't Patrick Mahomes. I'll tell you that straight up. And please do not let me pass to Here's the Dante Foreman press proof. If he hadn't toy, what did he tear his ACL or his hamstring or something? He had a bad injury that kind of did him in. Hey, here's the John Watson. Here's the pride of Houston, Texas. Curtis Samuel's a good receiver. So these were the rated rookies, right? And then we have the later round draft picks or just regular rookies. And like Zach Cunningham starting for the Texans. There's a lot of these guys that are, you know, going past that rookie contract. What does I say? Most Football players last three years. Some of these guys are going beyond that. Here's Taco Charlton of the Cowboys. But I don't know how many Hall of Famers are coming from this half of the rookies. And these are a lot of guys who are going to be playing in Canada and, you know, going back and coaching at their alma mater, that kind of thing. I know we're getting close to the end. Ooh, Marshawn Lattimore. Yeah, he's starting for the Saints. Yep. And we get to the last page. Packerus McKinley is card 400. Boom. And I just used some of those contest entries to fill up the page. 
So that right here, if we look at it, that's the Don reset. And we just flipped through the whole thing in a few minutes. So you're thinking, what are these pages back here? These are the duplicate rookies, another set of them. There's a few missing. I don't have a second Mahomes in here, for in instance. And there's a couple I need to fill in. But these are base card rookies that go with the base card set. I'm already having trouble filling the 300 cards in here. I definitely don't want to do anything to ruin the condition on these. Because, hey, they don't go in the NFL Hall of Fame. One of these guys is going to, you know, marry Mariah Carey one day or start a sitcom or, you know, invest in some company and make a billion dollars. Someone here will be known for something else later in life that will attract interest. And that's what this whole collecting thing is, is attracting interest. The card in and of itself, you know, uh, how do you say it? it? There's not a lot of intrinsic value. It's not made out of silver or something. It's the value a, a human assigns to it. Because they went to a Panthers game and really like Christian McCaffrey. Or, you know, we met Mac Hollins at the mall one day. Something like that. That stuff goes a long way, especially if you're a, a seller as opposed to just a collector, don't underrate that stuff. I really like when player has like two claims to fame, like Troy Aikman's a great example. He was a Hall of Fame Dallas Cowboy, and now he's an announcer on what, CBS, I think, on one of the TV channels. But that's how Oral Hershiser's a really good example. Oral Hershiser was a legendary Los Angeles Dodger, won the 88 World Series, and He's one of the big hosts on the MLB network. More often than not, when I sell an Oral Hershiser card, the last year, 2019, every Oral Hershiser card I, I sold was mostly to a younger guy who knew him from the MLB network. He wasn't even alive when he played for the Dodgers. You know? So that kind of stuff is very valuable. Pay attention to that. And again, we all have the internet. If you have any questions about this stuff, look it up. I think he is the biggest question mark in this whole set. Mitch Trubisky going to figure it out because playing for the Bears is kind of like playing for the Yankees. There's a lot of pressure on you just the second you walk in the door, you know? So, yeah, there's still a few of these rookie short because the rookie short prints are only one per pack, and I'm still missing a few. If I can find a deal, I may pick them up, but I don't know how many more boxes of this stuff I'm going to get. I've already got two complete sets, and really the only card I would want out of here that I don't already have is more Mahomes rookies, and I'd be better off just buying those than because the prices on the boxes have spiked. I think the hobby boxes are like 150, 180. You can still get halfway decent deals on the retail blaster boxes, but even then they're like forty dollars a piece. Let me set those down. So that's storing regular sets. If you really put a lot of love and effort into it, and especially if it's like a condition-sensitive set, again, we'll go through this one more time. And if, if you will indulge me here, I would love to find where that Tom Brady is. <laughs> I can't remember what card number he is. Yeah, Drew Brees. We'll do Drew Brees. That's close enough. We'll do Drew Brees. <laughs> So we got the Blue Border Drew Brees Press Proof. That's a, a nice card of a future Hall of Famer right there. Your all-time touchdown leader, at least until Tom Brady passes him in a couple months. So take that card right after you open it out of the pack, or if you buy it as a single, you know, go to a, a, a reputable seller who understands condition, like Blast Beat Industries, a.k.a. Blast Beat ATX. I understand condition. But as soon as you get the card in your possession, put it in a sleeve and then put it up. Now I suggest just sliding it in pages. And I don't get paid by these guys. I don't have any endorsements. I just really use the stuff. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see it. Ultra Pro. I really like Ultra Pro. There's a company called BCW that has good supplies too. But Ultra Pro does a lot of Magic the Gathering stuff, too. And that is a whole different critter when it comes to supplies. I'll do another video about that. And that's also changed where, hey, I won't spoil the surprise. We'll just stick to, <laughs> stick to sports for the moment. But this is now 
ready to go. And I also like these binders too, where the ring isn't in the spine, it's on the back. And so this can swing freely and there's no pressure on the cards. So hope you learned something today. It's my Christmas present to you. Hope everyone, you know, whether you're in the sports cards, magic, comic books, vintage guitars, muscle cars, you know, cryptocurrency, whatever you're into. I hope you're having a good year going forward. I hope you got not like a lot of nice Christmas presents today. And most importantly of all, I hope everyone's staying safe. We're still in that time of the year where now we've gotten through the office Christmas parties with glug, glug, glug. And now it's New Year's parties where all the same maniacs are still on the road. So watch out for the other guy. Be safe and come back here. Watch more Blast Beat ATX with me, Brian. Blast Beat Industries. See you later.